This is Stephen Fields here, uh, Marine Specialist with Navionics. I'm just quickly going to go over how to set up, download, and update your new Navionics Plus card. I love my Navionics Plus card, first of all. And, it, I mean, it really sets up well for me because it gives me all my lakes, all my coastal charts, as well as my one-foot high-definition contour sonar charts for all the U.S. and Canada, all on one card. So it's not region specific. You got everything you need on one card. All you got to do is just plug it into your computer through your SD port or with the USB connector that comes with the card. And then you're going to want to go to Navionics.com. Once you get Navionics.com, you're going to click on Downloads and Updates. That's going to bring up this page. You're going to go down here and click on the Download the New Chart Installer. Uh, that's just a one-time deal. Uh, takes like a minute to download. Um, it's going to remember your card from here on out. You're also going to be able to set up your Navionics account as well. Since I already have the chart installer downloaded, I'm just going to bring it up here. As you can see, when you do bring it up, it remembers your card. Um, over here to the right is on the download side. So if I want to download new bodies of water, you got this little selector here to uh, highlight which bodies of water you want to download. And once you select what body of water you want, you just click start and that's going to download it for you. Don't unplug your card until it says you're finished and ready to go. Um, it'll give you the process on the left side here and it'll let you know when you're done. Also, you got updates. You definitely want to get your money's worth out of these updates. When you purchase a new Navionics card, you get one year's worth of free updates. Uh, Navionics puts out over 2,000 updates with the freshest data daily so you want to you want to use that I update my card at least once a week um, again you're going to click on update and all you're going to do is just click on start down here at the bottom and that's going to get the process going of updating all the bodies of water you have downloaded on the card with the freshest data I hope this helps um, stay tuned for more Navionics tips Tight line, still next time.